and hikers. Back again. I'm gonna do a little gear shakedown. I just got a new uh, bug net bivy uh, from Bora Gear. And uh, I'm gonna combine that with my Emmett Gear 8, uh, 8.6 by 8.6 uh, foot Cuban fiber or Dyneema tarp. So, nice place to do that is uh, Blind Lake, Pinckney Recreation Area. They're calling for, for storms tonight, so what a better way to, to test the tarp and bivy combo um, than with a, a nice thunderstorm. It's been, uh, the last few weeks, it's been in the mid-70s, mid to upper 70s, except for today, of course. Got hit with a heat wave. It's 87 right now. Um, it's only supposed to drop down to 77 tonight, um, which will make it a bit of a sweltering night to sleep, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, check back in a few. I highly recommend if you do this trail, do it on Tuesday, like today. So yeah, I uh, got here about 3.20, checked in on the trail, about you know, 3.30, 3.35, and uh, I have not passed one person yet, and I'm probably a mile and a half, two miles in. No mountain bikers, this is a shared trail. Mountain bikers, no mountain bikers, no people. There's a few people in the parking lot at the beach, because like I said before, it's 87 today, so pretty good day for swimming. So anyways, Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon is the day to do it. For anyone who's never been to the Potawatomi Trail, or those who have, on one hill that's a bit of a chore, and this is it. If I remember correctly. Fun coming down on a mountain bike, though.
Not too bad. Two minute climb. Made it to camp. I booked uh, site B2, but there's literally no one here. And uh, I want to go swimming, so I'm going to go swimming in site B3. And if no one shows up, I might set up camp here. I might just go up the hill to B2, which is uh, right behind me. Doesn't really matter, I don't think, because there's literally no one here. Um, but yeah, definitely need to go swimming because it is hot and I am hot and uh, I deserve it. Of course, I wish those douchebags were out. That's camp. First time I'm trying the uh, the Bora Bug Bivy Dyneema Bug Bivy. It's um it's a tight fit for my uh, Thermarest Xterm Max. So we'll see how it goes. I probably need a ground sheet. This I'm, I'm on grass. It's pretty pretty decent, soft and stuff. And I checked for any pokies, so I'm good. But Probably do a ground sheet like right over here just to have a place for my stuff. I've got quite an awesome pitch today. This thing is is nice. So it's the hammock gear square tarp. Um, 8.6 by 8.6 feet. It's got um, quite a few tie out points. You could put these on the outside if you want to guy out, but I like to put them on the inside just in case I want to hang some stuff to dry. Um, when it's raining um, and it is supposed to rain tonight so I'm gonna make use of them with my my swimming gear um, yep uh, the cordage actually came with well didn't come with it it's an extra fee but this is reflective cordage that comes with the tarp um, and I have a uh, I have a bowline non constricting loop right here to hold my trekking pole tip and then I have a, a slip knot, slides up and down so I can tension it. Um, uh, MSR Groundhogs, six of them. Trekology Cheat Pillow, Amazon Special, Hammock Gear, um, Burrow 20, which is overkill for tonight. It's, I think it's gonna get a like, low of 75 or something. So that's why I brought my Silk Cocoon Silk Mummy Liner. I'll probably um, I'm one of those people that need something over me to sleep, so I'll probably sleep under that. Um, and just on top of the burrow. And yeah, that's my that's my full-on sleep and shelter system. Obviously, I'm setting it up with trekking poles. These are Black Diamond uh, Trail Ergos uh, cork. I've had those for five years or so, and they're holding up. The only thing that happened is one of these got gnawed on by a mouse um, or vole or something in the middle of the night 
think it's this one. They're probably looking for salt or something, so yeah, they knot it pretty good. Knot it up. Um, so that's something to be aware of. Um, what else? I think that's about it. So I am going to start making dinner. Um, I might have a fire. I, I'm still debating because it's really hot out here and uh, not sure if I'm in the mood, but uh, I brought some adult beverages, so I might be in the mood after that. I did end up passing quite a few mountain bikers in the way in. Um, probably like six or something after five o'clock, you know, everybody gets off of work and yeah, I think people, all the warriors came out to, uh, to train as it were. Um, but yeah, no hikers. Every campsite is empty. Um, like I said, I'm in B2. Well, I reserve B2. I'm in B3 right now. B3 I think is excellent. B9 is nice and secluded and B10 as well. Uh, B1 and B2 are, are fairly secluded too. But um, B3 is, it's awesome because it has a beach, sandy beach. You can get a floaty and just go for it out here. I mean, the jet skis and all those maniacs are a little irritating, but what do you want? You know, it's 45 minutes from Detroit. So, all right, talk to you later. So, you ended up having a fire. Bugs were getting a little irritating. And, uh, there's some bats flying around, but they don't seem to be doing a good enough job. So, I doubt this is showing up, but oh, maybe it is. <clears throat> there's a thunderstorm way in the distance. And you can see the uh, lightning strikes illuminating the sky. It's, it's pretty ominous. And very well may be heading this way. Got up around 6.30. There's a deer up there. Got up around 6.30 on the trail by 7. Got to work today. About a 40, 45 minute drive from work. down to my last quarter mile. <clears throat> so, yeah, a little recap. Expected showers never came, so no rain. That was nice. At the same time, it was there's no wind. And 
like I said, the, the low is like 75 or something. So that was pretty, it's pretty claustrophobic in the uh, bug bivy. <clears throat> Comments on the bug bivy. I wish it, um, I wish it was just a little taller because with a, you know, a, a thicker sleeping pad <clears throat> and a pillow, your face is pretty much right in front of it. And at times, if you're a side sleeper, my shoulder would be rubbing up against it. Mosquitoes obviously can bite right through if there's nothing but bug net in my shoulder. My hand's got a couple mosquito bites as well. And the mosquitoes were fierce last night. They're out in force. So, might have to go to like a Z light or something like that just to lower myself or I'll see if I can pitch it a little higher maybe shorten the, the shot cord <clears throat> on the head and the foot to see if I can get it a little higher in the air other than that it was good I definitely kept the bugs out I heard them buzzing around my head all night but Trail part two. It's the third time I've done it. I don't know what you want to call it. See you in the next one.